Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to set select two data dynamically using Laravel and Ajax. This technique can help you improve the user ex experience on your website by allowing users to easily search and select data from a large data set. Stick around to the end to see how easy it is to implement this functionality into your project. Okay guys, so let's begin by creating the routes first. I'm using web.php uh, so to make this project as simple as possible you ca guys can use API or whatever you want. So let's create the route first by creating a gate method. Now let's move to, uh, to the controller to create the controller part. Okay, guys, uh, let's build our controller method uh, public functions with the same name as we wrote in the route. Okay, so in here I have a table within, uh, which have around 197,000 records. I have already added data on it. Uh, so I'm using that table, that model uh, to search on that table with the name key. I'm going to now return my data as my data is very big, so I, I don't want to return all of them at the same time because it will take too much time to load so what i'm going to do is to use pagination to return my uh, part of my data so i'm going to take only 10 and uh, select all my columns and return with it the page number with the current page that we get from the front view so that's it from our back end from our controller that much uh, that is the all the code that we need in the back end okay guys so let's start with the html part now i have already imported the bootstrap select to and jquery from the cdn uh, so first of all what uh, we need here a select option in here we make a select option and give it an ID anything you want any ID I'm going to name it object select and after that and we are going to make our script for HTML that's it, that much you want most of the heavy lifting is done by javascript so i'm going to write the script for it so in here we are going to write uh, our function in jquery so when the page loads it automatically initialize our uh, select option which have this id with call it like this in here uh, we are going to use the ajax to fetch the data from the server now we are going to create our ajax we have now after this uh, i am going to set the url for it 
and in here I, I will set the URL like this so my URL name was gate the type is also gate the type is gate and uh, we want the data type also as a JSON uh, after that I will write a uh, delay of around 250 now I'm going to write the data that I'm going to uh, send with a request I will write a function for it and give it a parameter as a params then in, in inside the function I will return object with the search item same as it let's copy it and paste it here so it will be same the value of it will be params dot term which we will get from the search and I, al I will also send the page as in params dot page because we needed to know uh, if data is uh, remaining or not it will help us to scroll if there is more data after writing the data I'm go going to write the process result which is used to what should it do with the data that we received from the backend or from the database so I will write process results. It will be a function with two parameter data and params. I'm going to set params.page equal to params dot page or one. Then I am going to return object. Uh, results data dot data and pagination part paginations also will be an object which will have more data dot last page last page not equal to params dot page so this is our process result function which deals with the data that we receive from the server in here i'm also going to set the cache is equal to true because uh, i want the next time the user select our select option so it will be much quicker than uh, the first time then uh, i'm also going to add a place holder You can write uh, any string, for example, search for data in here. Okay. After uh, adding the placeholder, oh, I forgot to add the comma in here. Okay. After uh, adding the placeholder, now let's see our browser. That how does it uh, look? So if we come to here and refresh. Okay, let's give it a class of form control so we can see clearly. Now, uh, back to browser, refresh. Okay, we see that it's showing uh, loading more results, but the, our data is not appearing in the search results. And uh, if we check the inspect network tab, we see that there is that a request is going to the server that there are data data is also coming if we check so for to solve this problem we need one more function in here we have to write another function and uh, the function would be a template result and i will also write the function with the same name you can write it anything for it I will, but I will write it exactly 
it's like this the same so I uh, so it will be easier for me to uh, find it now let's make a function for this in here function and we will receive data in here in here we will write if data dot loading then return data dot x otherwise return data dot name uh, remember that this name this is the actual the, your column name in database this name so doing this let's save it and check our browser Ah, ah, now we can see that we have uh, received our data and until the last the data is not finished it will bring one by one one all the page 10, 10 items each so let's try to select for example this one when we select we see that the, it, it is not selected and uh, for example let's select this one for this also we have to create another function so we come here and and I am going to write another function which is template selection that here I will name it exactly like same so same as previous it's easier for me to find it in the future now I will write the function here it will also receive an parameter I will name it data then I will just say data dot name and this name is also your column name so with this done let's uh, refresh our br browser and open this select this one you, uh, when we click it select it now let's uh, try searching for example I will search something like this you can see all the records that match this because we have in the controller we have used like it will show the result all, all of them if we select it will it will get selected please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel thanks a lot